Greetings. It is me, your lord and master here, um, with another guide for you. Um, this is the first guide I will have posted in a long time. Um, it's for Crystal 3 farming, and we're going to get right into that. So, I've been seeing a lot of mistakes and related to farming Crystal 3 equipment, and we're going to clear some of those up here and some common misconceptions. I'm going to farm over with you um, and walk through it uh, as I do that. So let's get right into it. To Geo Topside 10 is the only of the three biomes you can find crystal through equipment. So flying around here, I'm just going to go to the first dungeon I see, and this is a bad dungeon, I typically skip it, it takes a while to get through, it's a long spiral, down there are faster dungeons we can complete. I have a high number of jumps, really going to want that, I don't know why I have that amount on. So always have your bombs ready, keep that in there, we get to use this just realized you're probably getting feedback from that audio, so I'm going to turn the volume down. Almost completely there. Um, so, open your chest, see that I have a mod on that shows a nice beam of light and radiating um, effects when a, an item's on the ground. So, looking at my mods list, um, this is a very nice looking mod. Um, that visual effect, but the one I'm using has... Uh, it's clean visual effects item drops. And when we find a crystal, I'll show you why that I use that. Um, it's blindingly obvious. In this particular dungeon, we just throw a bomb to the floor and drop down. Boss is there. Here we go. So you'll see that this is very obvious, this effect. I uh, found my first piece of crystal equipment. It's crystal one. Um, if you haven't equipped all of your um, classes with crystal gear, gear, you should do that anyway. Um, just raise your total power so you can get rewards each week. It's very helpful in that case. That's three star dungeon. I typically skip because it's an underground maze. So you'll see a, a pattern of me skipping dungeons that take too long. With a high movement speed, it really doesn't matter, because I'll do three other dungeons in the time it would take me to complete that one. So, a box here, no crystal. Fly around, trying to look for a geode boss on the ground. That's what you're always going to be wanting to look for while you're flying around here doing dungeons. The geode bosses on the ground actually provide a higher drop rate of crystal equipment, I do believe, as far as my testing has indicated that dungeons have a drop rate of 1% for Crystal 3 equipment. So out of 100 pieces of crystal we'll pick up, you have a 50% chance of receiving one piece of Crystal 3 gear. After 200 pieces, um, you have a 75% chance of receiving it because it's multiplicative probability. Um, crystal 2 drops at about 10%, and this is from Dungeons. 
um, and that is, again, it's 10% um, of the crystals uh, that drop. So you get a crystal about one in every three dungeons, or one in four, uh, really just depends on what your, what your um, magic find is. The magic find um, uh, contrary to popular belief doesn't actually increase the rarity of the items the crystals drop, but it does increase the quantity of them or the frequency that they drop. Um, it is one tenth of as it's a one tenth of as effective as for other equipment in other worlds. So dropping uh, crystal gear with 3,000 magic find is equivalent to 400 magic find in other worlds. So it increases a fourth of uh, a is that four um, four thousand magic find in the crystal worlds will drop crystals about ten percent more often. So it doesn't affect that much. But for patron players that double their magic find, it can be significant. Twenty or thirty, maybe even forty percent more often drop rate for crystals. So this is what I'm looking for, this Geode boss. If you ever find any of these, these Geode bosses, uh, and as far as I've determined, have either a 50% higher or 100% higher drop rate for crystal equipment. So don't skip them. Didn't find a crystal from him, that is very unfortunate. But I will go all out of my way to find fight every single one of those that you find. So in my testing, I get about one in 2.5 to one in three out of 2,000 of the Geo ground bosses that I've killed. I've gotten about 140 crystal twos from them. Um, the only crystal three I found was from a dungeon. So take that what you will. So when it comes to five star dungeons, I'll do them for dailies and for the cores, but I will tend to avoid them if it's just an opportunity to farm equipment, as the secondary and tertiary chests from them don't pay out items as frequently as other dungeons do. About half, but half as often. There are five chests there, though. but on average, whenever I do the crystal dungeons, I only get crystals out of, or the, the five star dungeons, I only get crystal drops out of about every four or five chests. And that is of the 200 five star dungeons I've done. gonna run through these as quickly quickly as you can. Typically won't leave until I have a full load of crystal gear. And check your inventory occasionally. You get a crystal two face, go through your classes, find something that doesn't have a crystal two face, and equip it to them. Just to get that little extra power bump for your total power. You get them for weekly rewards. contests and stuff. Some of these dungeons are really accessible, like this one is. The boss is just right. I don't want 
the jump pad. I think it's quite irritating. Day bombs are nice because then you can like, shoot him while he's jumping. So that dungeon, that again is an underground maze. I typically try to avoid them. You'll notice that my pot's refilled. That's because I'm a member of a club that has a percent chance of uh, pots to restore uh, when using one. So it extends my longevity in the top side world. Because I am a fae and I'm easy to kill. If you aren't using robotic tome, you're a scrub. Because if that pays out a hundred times, it's like 50k. It's an extra 50k you want to cut. So don't use slugs like that. People used to use mushrooms, but isn't as good. Isn't as good anymore. And then occasionally while you're flying around, you have a dragon. You're going to want to gather your nitro glitterin, um, which has the lowest hardness of any ore in the game, I'm pretty sure. So anything can destroy that ore. I mean, laser, laser, even laser mancy is fast for that, pretty much instant. It's like glass, so just shoot at it occasionally. You'll get some. You need a lot to upgrade crystal three gear, which we'll get into upgrading crystal three gear here shortly. I want to be comprehensive about farming. This five star dungeon is a little tricky. Your spawn points for for the the five dungeon things are either going to be there, 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 almost never here, but I've seen it there once, I think. No, no, it never is there, I'm pretty sure. It's either there, 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 and there are three spots on the ground here, here, and one in the back, right there. So there's only six places it can spawn. And on the inside is there. It can also be in the top of these domes as well. Like this one is. And you see I'm coming in to fight this bird here. Just kill him off and then leave. I'm not gonna do a five star dungeon for farming for farming um Crystal three. Hear me, if you hear me stopping before I speak, I had recently been working at a telecommunications company for a while, like two years, or a year and a half, something like that. And they had trained me rather to stay um because they have a, have a habit of saying um, 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 to just stop talking, collect your thoughts, and continue speaking. I do have a habit of saying um. Probably catch myself going back over this video and doing that repeatedly. Got a trophy. Nice. Just go through here, killing your dudes is not terribly aggravating. They're a little stronger than some of the others. So, I have the. See there that I only picked up the crystal equipment? If you go into settings and go to gameplay, miscellaneous. You can set the minimum la rarity of equipment you can pick up, set it to crystal, and then hold E so it only picks up the crystal equipment. That's your 
best way rather than hunting around there because you've seen that that was a problem for the gear. Flux artifacts, set those aside. And manage your inventory nice and clean. If you keep get any adventure boxes, try to use them as fast as you can. So free of those slots for some extra crystals. I'm gonna respawn here, show you something. So there is this device over here collecting nitro and uh, viridium allows you to craft, craft any weapon for any class. So go ahead before you even start farming crystal gear. Go to every single class on your class sheet craft one of the, the items because it's better than stellar. So you might as well do that. In addition, you have classes, pearls of wisdom are basically worthless now. So pearl of wisdom, I spell pearl. You know that there are 500 each, means every class Cost about 15k to apply 30 pearls to. Go ahead and do that. Get the extra 10k total power out of that for every class. Costs like 100k. Not, not that bad, really. To be honest. 100, not 200k. Call it 200k. 200k isn't that hard to get. I mean, I'm selling things that are worth about that right now. And you'll sell them overnight, so you're good. You can you can wait a week to get that done and over with. I was chasing around that beam. I have no idea where that's coming from. Oh, he's in the Look at that. He's dead. Alright. Let's go talk about how expensive Crystal 3 gear is to, to craft. I think it will be done with the guide. So this is 1984's Club World, themed after George Orwell's 1984. So this is the wrong so. This is the Forge. It's the only piece of Crystal 3 I have on this character. So we have shows that it takes 75 cores to upgrade. It's for the first level, I think it's 25, then 50, 75, 100, then 125 or 150 for the final. Um, for the forge, forge fragments, it's 50, 100, uh, 150, 200, 250. And then for nitroglycerine, glittering, it is 500, 750, 1000, 1250, and then 1500. So, the point is you're going to need 300 cores to upgrade your equipment. It is, I've been told by higher level players that it gets expensive, maybe for doing it to all of your classes, but for one class, that's not that bad. I had 75 cores three days ago, doing some farming, get about... From the gold reward, you get eight. From the two silver rewards per day, you get three. You get one each day. When you get the loom boxes, sometimes they give you cores as well. So it really just depends. But I got 75 cores in three days. That's not that bad. So. Hopefully that was helpful in farming Crystal 3. Now you know what to go for. If you're going to take anything away from this guide, it is to first and foremost, don't forget the bosses on the ground. Uh, rule two is make sure that if you're going to go after a, a five star dungeon, to make sure that it's an easy one and not something that you have to go out of your way to complete. The good ones I find that are fast are the ones that's made up of squares, 
that have the multiple rooms that branch off that's in the sky. There's one that has a bunch of snow globe looking things, a spiral, that one's easy to complete. The the one that's a clock that has an, it's in like three different floors. The top floor never spawns any of the the dungeon or layer chests only go after the second or third floor in that dungeon. Um, pretty much there's one that's made up of squares that's sunken below the ground that has branching paths. So that's like a grid. It's easy to fly from room to room in. So do that one. Other than that, try to skip them in general because they usually take too long. If you're if you're farming rather efficiently, you can do five other dungeons uh, just as quickly, and they pay out crystal gear. See, look, right there, rat talisman, boom. I already got half of that flux I need to upgrade the gear on the other on my other classes, which is what I was saying before. So. Oh yeah, and then again, just make sure that if you're going to go after the dungeons, make sure they're worth your time. If you're going to go into any other dungeons right off, aside from that, just make sure that the cost to time is in your favor. I don't, I wouldn't go after any dungeon that requires you to have to walk through a spiral for any longer than my like 10 seconds or to throw more than 100 bombs to get through. You know, it's not uh, it's not good for your flux, it's not good for your time, just move on, do something easier. If you have any notion to how many dungeons you'll do in a short period of time, there you go. You know, 120 gym boxes, no problem. I don't even need them anymore. I've gotten all the gems I need, pretty much. I'm starting to level my classes up as well. That's about it. Hope you liked the video. Okay, thanks, bye.